Hey y'all, Phil here. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video due to the, uh, the virus thing going around and uh, no traveling going on and then now the uh, rioting and the looting and so I've just been staying home here. But uh, today I thought that I would make a little video uh, showing a uh, safety upgrade that I made to the RV. Now here, oh, month ago or so, I was watching this YouTube video and it talked about this propane uh, emergency shutoff valve that you could get and put on your tank. Now, whether you travel and leave your propane on or travel and, and uh, turn your propane off before you travel, that's a individual uh, decision. Uh, I personally leave mine on. I don't shut it off. But uh, I was watching this channel, and I, I forget the name of the channel. But they talked about an emergency shutoff valve that you put on your propane tank. In case there's an accident, it senses a uh, low pressure or an overpressure and automatically turns the propane off at the, uh, the tank. And... It's called gas stop. It's a little valve that you put on your, screw it onto your propane tank right here, and you put the other end of the, the lead coming out of your tank back here, and it's got a little gauge on it. Can't see it now, but I'll take it off and show you. It's got a little gauge on it, and it shows you the, the green range, but uh, as I said, if it gets too high of a pressure, it automatically will shut your, your gas off so you won't have a, a gas leak if you were to get in an accident or something. Or if it's too low of a pressure for some reason, it'll turn it off. So, <clears throat> should be pretty easy to, uh, to install. So I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, as I said, it's, it's a personal decision whether you want to turn your gas off or leave it on. Uh, that's up to you. But uh, I'm going to put it in there and give it a shot. <clears throat> and as I said, this is a, a personal decision that I'm doing. But uh, I'm not a professional. I'm not a gas man or anything. But So if you guys want to do something like this, you take it at your own you know, discretion and your own uh, judgment whether you want to use it. So let's uh, head around the corner and... Uh, See if we can get it installed. Okay, let's go outside and see what uh, things look like out there. I uh, put this panels of uh, tarp up here alongside the RV. I want to uh, uh, got some cheap real cheap tarps here and put them up on this side of the RV because this is the uh, facing west side and in the afternoon in the summertime a uh, lot of heat got on this side of the RV so so I put this in here just to see if it would help just kind of tied it up uh, and it, it seems to help anyway let's go on over here hope there's enough uh, light to see what's going on. Okay, there's the uh, propane. Come on, wind, go back the other way. Propane. I don't know how this is going to come out. Okay. There's my propane. Hmm. Well, that's going right into the the uh, regulator there. 
may have to do some work on modifying that because that gas stop needs to go right there between those two. Uh, okay, well let me uh, let me get my wrenches and uh, pull this cover off, see if I can move that over or something and see if how easy that's going to get in there. I thought for sure it was going to fit real simply, but uh, better take a look. Okay, out for now. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to uh, record and turn out in this uh, tight spot between the, uh, the tarps and the, and the RV, but uh, we'll try to give it a shot. I've taken the little white cover off that uh, goes over the regulator. You can see it's off right there. So now this tarp is just blowing on my back. It's pushing me towards the RV. But uh, now I'm going to try to, I've, I've been inside and uh, I've turned off the power, turned off the, uh, the gas right here, turned it off, went into the, uh, the oven and turned the uh, burners on to drain the line in there. So now I shouldn't have any gas in the line. And uh, so I should be, should be okay to take this off. Now one thing you do want to remember when you're doing with uh, dealing with uh, uh, gas fittings, you need to put some uh, uh, some of this uh, silicone tape on your gas fittings. Now there's two types. There's this that's yellow and it says uh, yellow gas line, high density and uh, various brands of course, but uh, this one, don't get confused with the white silicone tape that you use uh, pipe threads on other other things. It should be uh, yellow for gas, gas lines. So be sure to put some of this on. Usually about four wraps is what they say. So let me show you. If I can get this set up right. Hands are all dirty. Okay, pop this open. Back there. Find the end, and when you put this stuff on, wrap it in the direction that you're going to tighten so it doesn't come undone as you're tightening, tightening it. And remember, gas valve uh, go the opposite way. Normally it's uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey on your nuts and, and so forth, but gas lines are the other way around, so it's uh, lefty tighty righty loosey so you got to remember that so when this screws in here uh, it will go this way to tighten it so let's see yeah so I need to go on this way and they say about four wraps is what you need so I'm going to put that on the threads There's one. Two. Three. And come on. Four. So that should be enough of that on there. Of course, I'll put it on the other end when I get it off and get it in there. So let me put this back together. Like I say, before I I watched the the videos on gas lines and stuff, I didn't realize there was two types of uh, Teflon tape. I thought there was just the one white stuff. I didn't realize there was a yellow one for gas lines. I don't know what the difference is, but. Uh, it's about the same price, and so I got a thing of yellow. Okay, put that aside. Okay, I don't know how this is going to 
come off or how easy it's going to come off. They, they shouldn't be more than just uh, hand tight, sn snugly, snug, hand tight. So, let me give it a shot. Let's see. Normally righty tighty, lefty loosey, so this is going to go that way to loosen it. Yep, very, very just snug down, not tight at all. And the thing about this gas stop is they say, you know, it's got to be on the, uh, uh, the tank to the regulator side. So that's why it's got to go in here and not past the regulator. Okay, there it is. Easy peasy. Okay. Now take the gas stop. I'm going to put the camera, well, let me see. I don't know how that's going to work, but let's see if I can put that there. Try to put it out, turn it out just a little bit so they can see the uh, the gauge. Now, as I was reading it in there, it's actually that when I said it's got a high low stop thing on it, uh, that uh, shows your actual uh, tank amount in the tank too. So, not only do you have your regular tank gauge, this will tell you whether you're high or low. And of course, once you get this in here, it gets you some uh, light soapy water once you turn it back on and you test. Oh, I went to camera. Hang on, hang on. Ugh, knocked it over. I don't even know if that camera's recording. It's going in there snug because uh, I got that uh, tape on there, but it's not, you know, it's not cross-threaded. It's, not, it's nothing like that. It's just snug because of that tape, but that'll seal it. Probably should have put that, I was gonna put a extend a stay on here and I probably should have put that on too at the same time but okay that should be tight enough but I'll just leave it that way okay now some some more tape around this other end again let me see which way this is going uh, Normally right, lefty, loosey, so this will be tight. This will be loose, so tight. So I got to do it this way. And four. Okay.
maybe I should have only went with three wraps of that tape instead of four. Yeah, too much tape, I think. Okay, that should be on. Let me uh, go get a bottle of soapy water so when I turn it back on, I can test it for leaks. Okay, hang on. Okay, back of my soapy water. Turn this back on. And the gas stuff says push it three times. Okay, to charge it. And as you can see, I don't, yeah, the uh, the gauge is up on high, which means it's full. And my gauge over here says three quarters full. So I know it should have been full, but uh, okay. Let me spray some soapy water. Okay, I don't see I don't see any bubbles. Do you guys see any bubbles? Okay, I don't see any bubbles on anything so I'm gonna call that good now all I gotta do is see if I can get this cover back on here in such a way since it's moved over what three inches two inches I'll see if I can get that stuck back on there some way I'm gonna come cut that off too okay so I hope hope that turns out and uh, we'll see you when I get on the editing table and I'll let you know if you have any problems with it later on down the road okay until later fill out Hey y'all, Phil here. Don't uh, forget to subscribe. You know you want to. It's free. Also, leave a comment. Anything you want to say. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And hit that little bell icon. And you'll get notified when I put up a new video. Until later, fill out. And remember, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos. Thank you very much.